in relation to the shape of the neck for a variety of aesthetic procedures, it's probably fair to say that an elegant neck contour provides an ageless beauty support for the face. And it's difficult to imagine how the face can look good if the neck doesn't. They do work together, but sometimes, and it's strange, even in younger people that are slim, the contour of the neck can be a significant problem. That is sometimes related to the volume, sometimes related to the development of the jaw, and can be assessed together in the bigger project of planning the aesthetic result. It is in many instances useful to have the 3D image as the part that helps you decide how things look from three-quarter view, from the front, from the side, and create the aesthetic balance that you seek. But ultimately, most of the time, the volume reduction for the neck is what contributes to the changes. Of course, if the skin itself has lost elasticity, it will need to be addressed too. But in a large number of cases, it isn't necessary to interfere with the skin in order to produce improvement in the appearance of the neck contour. For the anatomy of it, the neck has both the superficial layer of fatty tissue and that in slim individuals tends to be very thin and the deeper layer situated below the platysma muscles which are like a thin sheet of muscles situated in the front of the neck. And it is possible to address both layers in the attempt to create a balancing effect, a contour of the jawline that looks more defined from all directions, from the front, from three quarters. And that effectively means reducing the girth of the neck, also not just the volume under the chin. The planning and the technique applicable to it are really the uh, results of the discussion in consultation, but it is relatively easy to assess even by yourself where you stand in this respect just using a simple photograph from the profile taken from a bit of distance so it's not distorted and the appreciation of where the jaw size and the chin size is the primary problem or whether there's a volume effect it is indeed also quite visible that when reducing the volume under the neck the jawline appears to be stronger and the chin appears to be more prominent. And this is sometimes an effect that you can't fully visualize unless you look at the simulation, because then it becomes very clear, but also you can decide on the amount, the dimension of the changes that you want to apply to each component for the desired results.